Apocalypse Inc. Productions presents 5-Minute Stories, written and read by Jennifer Brozek. 5-Minute Stories, a little bit of story to last you all day. This story is called Interloper. I put my found treasures down on one of the clear spots in the room. The building was silent. Once, I would have said it was an eerie silence. Now, silence was the norm, and all sound was suspect. All sound had to be identified for threat rating. Sounds like the quiet footsteps coming down the hallway. I waited and watched the door, ready to respond. The person paused in the doorway, and we surveyed each other. It was my work partner, Rory. I relaxed. Find anything worth keeping? He nodded. I did. I swept the entire third floor. Any trouble? He shook his head. You? I got all of the first floor and part of this floor. I didn't see anyone, but I don't think we're alone. Rory paused in the motion of unloading his pockets. Should we move to a more secure location? This is an open thoroughfare. Nah, like I said, I didn't actually see anyone. If they're here, they're more scared of us than we are of them. Or a rat. I watched him as he once again started unloading his haul. It was pretty good stuff. Candy, mostly. All wrapped and untampered with. It was a good compliment to my chips and crackers. Yeah, rats aren't afraid of anything. He put his hand to his pocket. You'll never believe this find. He unveiled it with a flourish as he set it on the countertop. Holy shit! Is is that a full-size Snickers bar? I was surprised. Yep. I haven't seen one of those in forever. Where the heck did you find it? Rory shrugged. One of the abandoned conference rooms. Sweet. I reached for it, but the room was suddenly flooded with light. Both Rory and I whirled in surprise and stepped back from our most feared enemy. We stared at her in horror as she stepped into the room and began to speak. I was certain we were dead. A couple of seconds later, I could only wish we were. Oh, my God. Did you see the weather up there? It's so sunny. I can't believe it. I'm stuck in here working the weekend. She walked into the kitchen without hesitation and continued to speak without taking a breath. Working the weekend, too? Sucks, doesn't it? But I've got such a big presentation that's due next week, and I won't be able to get it done and go to both my hair and my nail appointments at the same time. So I'm here now. What were you two doing in here with the lights off? She looked through the cabinets for a coffee cup and sugar. Rory and I looked at each other. Conserving energy, I said. Oh, well, I don't think you have to worry about that on the weekends. It's not like there's too many people using it. So what are you guys working on? Rory and I looked at each other again. The protege R-400, Rory said. Oh, engineers. She spoke with a tone reserved for Muffin when he tinkled on the carpet. I see. Well, I need to get back to work. I have a presentation to give to the higher-ups. The subtext, whom you will never meet, was clearly tacked onto that statement. She got her coffee from the pot on the counter and noticed the pile of scavenged goodies. Oh, Snickers! I love Snickers! She took the candy bar along with her coffee and flounced out of the corporate kitchen. Rory and I stood in silence for a long moment. Finally, I asked, What the fuck was that? Relentlessly perky. Rory's tone was droll. We should hunt her down, kill her, and eat her. Yeah, but then I'd get perky stuck in my teeth and I'll be belching marketing strategies for hours. You know how much I hate that. Yeah, I sighed. She took the Snickers. I noticed. Bitch. I bought that for you. I looked at him. You didn't find it on the third floor? Nah, it made for a good story, didn't it? Yeah. You did well, my apocalyptic minion. You did very well. He scooped up the rest of the snack food while I got us a couple of sodas. Back to work? I nodded. Fortified and ready. Back to work. We can play another day. Apocalypse Inc. Productions hopes you have enjoyed this story by Jennifer Brozek. If you would like to read it, or others like it, it is available in 5-Minute Stories, Volume 4, by Jennifer Brozek on Amazon.com.